Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you. If you are a returning subscriber or whatever, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for being here. So, um, I'm going to be eating y'all because I have not had anything to eat today and my son-in-law just brought me back some chicken wings and french fries. So, I'm going to be busting them down. And I got me uh, Arizona tea. This is half and half iced tea with lemon. When I tell y'all I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I, I kid you not. I am hungry. Like, and the crazy thing about it is, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that sizzle? The crazy thing about it, as hungry as I am, I am not going to be able to eat maybe I might be able to eat maybe two pieces of chicken and a couple of fries, but that'll be it. This here, it's not ketchup. In Brooklyn, they call this mom mambo sauce. Um, I don't know what it's mixed with, but it's sweet. It tastes very good. And us Brooklyn Knights, when we get french fries, we always get mambo sauce on it. So, you know what? I got some stuff that came today. Amazon, I don't know what this is, but I got two things from Fashion Nova, one thing from Aldo, and this here. Yeah. Look at these. Peanut shoes. Now, I bought some of these for my husband because I bought some for my daughter. She's pregnant. She's nine months. And she is a fiend for peanut shoes. And she haven't had any in a while. So I got her a bag. This is like a, this is like a pound. And um, when my husband saw it, he started eating hers. And I told her, leave hers alone. And he said, I only want a couple, but he said he only wanted a couple, and then he kept going back and back and back and back, and getting more and getting more. So I just bought him his own. So that's what it is. I was wondering what it what it was because I'm feeling a bag, and I'm feeling all these loose pieces. I'm like, what the hell is this? So that's what it is, y'all. Peanut shoes. Oh, he gonna have a he at work right now, but he gonna have a field day when he sees these. I'm gonna just have, I know I'm gonna have to hide them from him. And just like take a couple of out every day, you know, because if not, he's going to eat all of that. All right. So, fashion over, y'all. Y'all know I love me some fashion over. I mean, over the years, I've accumulated so much. And I'm not even joking. So much fashion over stuff. And my daughter told me, she was like, Mom, you really need to just give some of this stuff away because you have so much stuff, you'll never be able to wear all the stuff that you've bought. I said, watch me. Because I'm wearing my stuff. Like, for real, for real. It's just, you know what? What it is is that I still got like 47 pounds to lose. And... As y'all know, I done told you a thousand times, thousand times, thousand times that I had the gastric sleeve in 2021. And 2022 of October made one year. 
I only want to go down to 200, y'all. I don't want to be smaller than 200. If I get down to 190, I'm good with that, whatever. But I don't want to. My daughter had the sleeve too. And she went down to 200. And I'm a little taller than her. And I'm a little curvier than she is. And at 200, that was a nice size. And I said, you know, I don't want to be too small. Because when I was younger, you know, when I was like 21 years old, my waistline was a 26. And I had hips. I had the butt. Because every all the females in my family got big butts. But I had the, I always had the smallest waistline in the family. And I had a 26 waistline. But if I was to go back down to that size now, I would look sick. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been big for so long that if I got, if I went down too far, excuse me, I'm burping. If I went down too far, I would look like something's wrong with me. So I'm not trying to go down. 200 is good for me because... Even though I might look big, like I'm sitting down now, so everything is like pushed down. But my waistline is small, even even at this size. Um, I'm small, so I have a small waistline. So I don't look that big. So when I lose the 40 pounds, I'm not going to look that big. And then afterwards, I plan on getting um, an arm lift and stuff like that. So Okay. So, this is a dress that I Let me see. What's the name of this dress? Um, Dragon Tattoos Printed Maxi Dress. And this is a size extra large. I honestly don't remember let me see, what I paid for this. Oh, $39.99 is what I paid for this dress. $39.99, an extra large. It stretches, so that's good because it's going to hit all the curves. And I'm I'm all for that because I'm a curvy girl. So I'm all for the curves. And it's long, so I love that. I love me now I, I love me a long dress. You know, I'd rather have, I have, I'd rather wear a long dress than one to the knee or whatever. I like dresses, maxi dresses and stuff like that. That come all the way down to the feet. That even covers the feet. I love that. And this is nice. I gave me some nice tan sandals. Like a heel sandal. Summertime. Wear this with a nice tan bag. Or. Let me see where my bag at. I could either have this bag with it. Carry my bag with it. Or get me a nice tan bag. Like this here. To go with it. I'll be popping. I will be popping because I plan on being in these streets this summer, either with my husband or with my cousin. I plan on being in these streets. I do not want to be home this summer. I got to find something to do to keep me out this summer. I know I've, I have a um, a 10 speed bike. Me and my husband both have 10 speed bikes. So I do plan on doing a lot of bike riding this summer. I want to go fishing and I also we got you know we have fishing poles and stuff like that but we didn't go fishing at all last year but I want to go fishing even though fishing is more of my husband's thing he loves fishing I don't really care for it but I will go just to have something to do you know and um I also want to go uh camping me and my husband was supposed to go camping last year but this happened that happened and so we wind up not going. But I don't know. I, I bought a tent. Bought a portable toilet. We got our grill. So. We ready to go. All we got to do is get our food. I done bought. Um. LED lights that hang up inside the tent. We got our um, we got a table. We got lawn chairs. I bought a queen. I mean, is it queen or king? Either a queen or king size blow up mattress for both of us, and it holds it holds up to six hundred pounds. So we good on that. 
And the only thing I had to do is uh, we got a big cooler. So all I, all I had to do is basically just get some food. And we'd be ready to go. Uh, all right, let's see what this is. I order so much stuff from Fashion Over Y'all that a lot of times when my stuff, when the stuff comes, I don't know what the hell it is. I be like, sometimes I forget because I order so much stuff. When it comes, I was like, oh shit. I didn't even realize I ordered something from Fashion Over. And then I, not only do I forget I ordered some, I forget exactly what I ordered. Then I see it and I go, like, oh yeah, okay. All right. Now I remember. Okay, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Now I remember. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen this and I fell in love with it. Uh, it's, um, I think it's a two-piece. But they have a green one also. I'm going to get the green one too. But this is so freaking pretty, y'all. Uh, I can't wait. I honestly, I cannot wait for the summertime till my husband and me go out to dinner or something like that where I can wear this. Because when I seen this, I was like, oh, my freaking goodness. Like, this is really, 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 really pretty. Ugh. Hold up. Now, is this the skirt? I think this is the skirt. Yeah, this is the skirt. So, it ties... What is this called? It's a matching set. What is this called? Okay. Rena, Rena Rope Skirt Set. Turquoise. This was $39.99 also. Rena, R-E-I-N-A, Rope Skirt Set. And this is in uh, size. What size is this? Oh, 1X. Yeah, it's a size 1X. So, basically, it's a wrap skirt. It's a wrap skirt. And it has these ropes, these tie-up ropes on it. And this look, this, look at the tosses at the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, look. It, it looks nice on my skin. And I really have to... I really have to go back to the website to see how they put this on. This is the top and it wraps around. Y'all, I'm going to, I I promise you, I will do a review on this skirt. So this is the top and the top has the, the tassels too. I mean, it's hard to see it with me just holding it up like this, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna show y'all what this is like, because honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I can't wait to try it on, because I, when I seen it, I was just like, oh, no, we're not doing this, there's no way, and I promised my husband that I was not gonna do any more shopping for a while. But when I seen this, I could not pass it up. And I guarantee you, once I try it, oh, I got to get me some shoes, some nice shoes to go with this. Oh, man, I got to, oh, I don't know if I should get turquoise shoes to go with it or another color, like, like kind of like a color blocking type thing. Because I could get, I could get another color shoe and then a, a, a and get a bag the same color the sh as the shoes to break it up a little bit a little color blocking thing going on or i can just get a pair of turquoise shoes to go with it and then get a different color bag now, i could get a, like a white bag i could get a white bag to go with it or like a pop of color like some like a red bag or I figured out, but either way, 
I'm, they have a green one, like a um, a mint green or fluorescent, fluorescent, a fluorescent green. It's either fluorescent green or mint green, just like this one. The same exact one, but just fluorescent green. And I'm, I'm thinking about getting that one. Honestly, I would love to get, if they have more than just the blue and the green, I would love to get both of those. I mean, all of them. So that's the that's the only thing I have from Fashion Nova. The dragon skirt and the turquoise skirt set. And I got one more thing, which is a pair of sandals, black sandals from Aldo. I love that it comes in. Look how this comes. This is just, a, I just took it out the bag. And this is how it comes. Nice, like a little pocketbook. I like that. Now, look at this. Look at that. I love this heel. Look at this. Nice and flat, but it's wide. And I, see, I have, um, I can't, I'm not really good in heels. You know what I'm saying? So this, this, honestly, this heel is a good length for me. This is probably about a three and a half inch heel. But um, I'm not, I don't really um, do good in heels, but I'm trying. Oops, excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to get better with it because there's a lot of nice outfits that I want to be able to wear this summer. And they require you to wear some like, heel sandals. And I'm just not good with heels. You know, I don't know. Maybe it could be because my weight, maybe my weight was just too much and all the pressure was, you know, all the pressure was going to my feet. Like my feet was holding up all the weight and maybe that's why I had a hard time walking in shoes. But I do realize, or I have realized in um, the past couple of months, because, you know, I've been to certain parties and stuff like that. I have realized that the more weight I lose, the easier it is for me to walk in shoes. Now, these are the shoes. I, it's hard for me to show them to you. I wish I could. Either way, this is the shoe. And I can't wait to, um, I can't wait to wear these. You'll have to excuse me because I'm hungry. And I should have told... Oh, no, they did break it up. But anyway... That's all I have to show you for today. And I'm supposed to be... Going to um, Jamaica in June, if everything go right, for so there's a couple of things going on at home, nothing serious, nothing life-threatening or nothing major, nothing like that, but if things, if everything goes planned, then I will be going to Jamaica in June. My husband will not be going with me because he has to work. He's upset about that. I am too because I did want him to go. He always wanted to go to Jamaica. Because my husband was, um, you know, he's always, um, he's always wanting to go and visit Jamaica. And that was always a plan of ours to one day go. So he's a little upset because I'll be going without him. And he wanted his first experience going to Jamaica to be with me. But 
what happened is my um my niece slash cousin she's she's really my cousin but she's more like a niece um she graduating and um her mother is taking her to Jamaica for her graduation because that's where she wanted to go. So we're all celebrating her graduation in Jamaica. Uh, um, they really wanted me to go. My husband, he's upset he can't go, but he still wants me to go. He said, babe, I don't want you to be missing out on stuff just because I can't go. You know, if you, you know, I want you to go and have a good time. Just make sure you stay in touch with me. You know, stuff like that. So, I said, okay. So, if everything goes as planned, I'll be, I'll be in Jamaica eating some island food. When I tell y'all, we went to St. Kitts, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, Barbados. When we docked at um, San Juan, we didn't get off the boat because it was 7 o'clock at night. No, 7.30 at night when we got there and all the stores closed out there at 7 o'clock. So it didn't even make sense. So, but all these other islands that we went to, we could not find anybody that made any island food. Everybody... Everywhere we go, everywhere we went to get something to eat. And you know what they were serving? Franks, hamburgers, um, potatoes, uh, stewed steamed potatoes with, with onions and stuff like that. Sausages. Like, how do you go to an island and can't find island food? N like everywhere we went, this is what they were serving. They might, you know what? I was thinking, I said to my husband, I said, look. I said, they must have a lot of Americans coming out here all the time. And they think that when we come out here, we want to see American food. Like, you know, French hot dogs. And I said, because there's no way that you go to the island and you can't find, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody on the island makes um, island food because it's the island. This is where they live. But I think they think that when tourists come to the island that we're looking for the food that we have at home, which is franks, hamburgers, sausages, stuff like that. And no, when we come to the island, we want island food. Like, we could get that stuff when we go back home. Like, I could go in my freezer and get some Franks out of there. You know, I can I can go get some hamburger meat and put it together and make me a burger. When I go to the islands, I want island food. I want real jerk chicken. I want real uh, 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 um, curry goat. I want real oxtail. You know what I'm saying? I want... I want that the the because they they don't cook it the same here that they do on the islands. When you when you go to the islands, everything is fresh. There's a different taste to it because when they come here, they get Americanized and they start using the seasoning in the in the jars and stuff like that, which is mixed with all other different kinds of salts and stuff like that. When you're on the island, they use fresh herbs, you know. So the the taste is gonna be way different and more than likely it's going to taste better so when i go to the island i want island food i want to see what it's really what it's really about out there i want to see how they really get down with the cooking out there you know and i would like to be able to pack some up if i can and take some back home with me. <laughs> but that's what i want I want some real jerk, some real curry, some real oxtail with the peas and rice and the plantain and the fried cabbage. I want all of that. And the cocoa bread, all of that. That's what I want when I get out there. I don't want Franks and hamburgers and sausage. 
and, and steamed potatoes with onions in. I don't want that stuff. I have to get that stuff any day of the week at home. I didn't come all the way across the waters to have a Frank. Right? Where they do that at? Right? But I honestly think that that's what they think, that when we come here, we come to their... Like I said, mm. <clears throat> like I said, I really think that that's what they think that <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice. It, it goes in and out. <clears throat> like I said, I really think that they feel that when we come to their islands, that <clears throat> this is what we want. We want our food. And that's not the case. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I'm surprised I was <clears throat> able to eat as much as I did. I'm dropping stuff. Well. I hope I'm going to be able to um, go on <clears throat> at least two more trips before the summer's out. I, love, I really want to go on another cruise with my husband. Hey, just dropping stuff? <clears throat> I really want to go on another cruise with him. Because, um, even though we were gone for 12 days on this cruise, um, we saw all these islands and stuff. I still feel like it could have been better. We didn't do any excursions. Um, we just did tours and it wasn't at all as cracked up to be. I mean, to be honest, the highlight of the trip was going to Barbados and seeing where Rihanna lived, used to live. That was it. And going to <clears throat> the beach in St. Thomas. That was it. Other than that, It wasn't really what I thought it was going to be. And it wasn't that the cruise was bad. It was that <clears throat> it was a bunch of old people on the ship. 
and everything was really mellowed out like quiet there wasn't no real jumping and having fun you know it was pretty quiet on that ship and it just made me feel like I was on a cruise ship with a bunch of you know nursing homes basically and yeah and the um the young people that were on the ship were complaining too about how many old people were on the ship I've never seen so many scooters and and, and walkers and canes in one place in my life so I think next cruise we go on it'll probably either be carnival or princess cruise or virgin something like that <clears throat> we done did Norwegian twice um, I done did carnival once so I'm ready to do something else something different and <clears throat> when we go to Jamaica me and my cousin will be flying we won't be doing a cruise so that's that but anyway y'all I'm gonna go I'm gonna finish eating my food I'm gonna put this stuff away probably watch me some YouTube videos and I will check with y'all later and remember I will be doing a review on the stuff that I just got I will be trying it on y'all will see how it looks that'll be coming up probably this weekend we got a couple of more days till the weekend so I'll probably do that this weekend for y'all show y'all exactly what it's looking like all right so until i see y'all again you know what i always say be blessed stay blessed peace love y'all oh before i go don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell Give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and your friends, y'all. And, you know, show the girl some love, you know. I'm all about love, you know. I'm all about the love here, y'all. So share the love, show the love, y'all. Peace. <laughs>